Okay. Uh, a question from 22 to 39. They're asking you to find out the general expression for the difference quotient of a function f of x is y is equals to f of x. So that can be defined by delta y divided by delta x is equals to f of x plus delta x. We replace x by x plus delta x and minus then f of x divided by delta x. And in part b, they're asking you to find out the slope of secant line from x1 x1 to x3, so we call it x1 and x2. And then the rate of change that delta x is x2 minus x1, so that is 2. So the function given by uh, question number 22 is that f of x is equal to 4x square, 4x square plus 3. So what we have to do is find out, replace x by this term and simplify it. So we replace x by x plus delta x in the whole function. This is a formula a plus b whole square. So the square of the first one plus the square of the second one plus two times the first one and the second one and then plus three as it is. So open this up, mean multiply four to each term. Four x square plus four delta x square plus two times four is eight x delta x and plus three as it is. Now substitute this value and the function value in this formula. So for this, we will replace all these values and then minus 4x squared plus 3. So if minus multiplied to 4x squared, this gives us minus 4x squared. And if minus multiplied to plus 3, that gives us minus 3. So you have minus 3x squared plus 3x squared cancel each other. Minus 3 plus 3 cancels each other. We are left with this 4x delta x squared plus 8x delta x. Now we can see that delta x is here and delta x is here. So we can take delta x common. So we are left here with 4 delta x and here 8x because we took delta x common from here. This delta x will cancel with this delta x. So we are left with 4 delta x plus 8x, which is the general expression for the quotient term, for the different quotient. Now, they are asking you about the slope of secant line. So the formula for the slope of secant line is the rate of change of y with respect to x. But this at the given point when you have... Um, x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 3. So it means that you have delta x is 2. Now we, ha we already know this thing in the general expression. So you just write that down and put the values of x, which is the first one, the first x value. And the delta x you can uh, find out by the subtraction of x2 minus x1. So delta x is 2, x we put is 1, Calculate, then this gives us 16. So the slope is 16. Now, in this question, uh, they're asking you to find out the general expression for the difference quotient of f of x is equal to m x squared minus n. So we have to replace x by x plus delta x. Instead of x, we wrote that one, or minus 2. Now we have to open up the square. So the square of the first one plus the square of the second one plus 2 times the first one, which is x, and the second one, which is delta x, and minus n as it is. Now you can open this up. M would multiply to each term. And that is 2 times mx delta x minus n. Now you can substitute that in the uh, above expression. So m x squared plus m delta x squared plus 2 times x m or mx is the same thing delta x minus n and then minus f of x f of x if minus is multiplied to this one that gives us minus mx squared and if minus is multiplied to minus n this gives us plus divided by delta x minus plus cancel minus plus cancel. We know that delta x is here and delta x is here. So we can take delta x common. Here we have m delta x left and here we have 2mx left divided by delta x. So they will cancel each other. So we are left with only m delta x plus 2 mx, the general expression. 
Now again, it's just for the slope of secant line, you just substitute the values of delta x in x. So m delta x is 2 plus 2 times m and the x is 1. So we have that is 2m plus 2m which gives us 4m. Okay, one last question. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have a function f of x is equal to minus 6 over x, then again we replace x by x plus delta x. So we have minus 6 over x plus delta x. Now substitute the values in this one, which is minus 6 over x plus delta x, minus f of x is minus 6 over x, and then whole divided by delta x. We can find out the LCM of this one by multiplying this into this. So that is the LCM. Now you multiply x into this one, above and below becomes of this type. So this becomes minus 6x, and this minus minus become plus 6. And what do we multiply to this one to make it equals to this one? That would be x plus delta x. So say x plus delta x. Now if you open it up, minus 6x plus 6x plus 6 delta x, and this delta x would come here, and then this one as it is. This plus 6 minus 6x plus 6x cancel out. 6 delta x plus delta x, x into x plus delta x. Delta x is cancelled with delta x, so we have 6 over x into x plus delta x. Now for the slope again, we just substitute the values x into x plus delta x. 6 divided by x is given by 1, x is 1 and that is 2. So that is giving us 6 by 3 which is 2. Thank you very much.